Adam Censorillo, will AC keep this up all season? We saw AC probably one of the most high profile rookies come into the year since maybe Kenny Roxon came in um, back a couple years ago or, or, or Eli Tomek. I, I truly feel the AC's got more um, kind of backing him coming into this year than Roxon. Maybe since. I mean, maybe since, like, the James Stewart did, and we really haven't seen a win- the winningest amateur rider come into the pro ranks and come into our uh, Premier Series class in a long time. So I got to say AC could potentially be the biggest guy coming into the class um, that we've seen since maybe even James Stewart. Um, it's big shoes, but in the grand scheme of things, I think AC from his amateur days has deserved that. Um, does AC keep us up all season? I think the kid's ready. I think last year humbled him. I think the years, uh, last year's Supercross humbled him and put him in a great mindset. I think last year's Supercross fumbles was the best thing that could happen to him. I also think that his previous lights, uh, you know, 250 class record was something also that, uh, you know, was good for him because I think this has really put him on a path to be the next great thing. I mean, I think we could see a, a sort of dominance. I mean, last Last night, he took out one of his rivals with uh, Webb coming in third. Um, and he was only behind Barsha. Realistically, it was kind of his to win, uh, kind of gave it away. So if you look at the error he made, and it was a slick spot in the ground, moisture's coming up. Um, he's just going to learn from this. this. This kid's a sponge. And I think uh, he's a true, you know, kind of uh, a kid from the sport. He's, he's grew this from a ground level. And uh, I don't know. I think this can be something for the future that we can see with AC. And uh, I guess only we'll know next round. Yeah, I think uh, AC is definitely going to be around. Whether he's uh, able to put it together for, you know, 16 rounds, I guess is the uh, the big deal. I mean, I think the biggest thing is that last night, like you said, he did make a mistake, but he kept it to a minimum. You know, and it wasn't, uh, he didn't go flying off the track. He didn't actually crash. It was just kind of like a little, you know, like you said, with the ruts like that, everybody's getting cross rutted and off lines. And those guys ride so far to the edge of the track that as soon as you get, you know, like their foot pegs are nearly hitting the hay bales anyway. So um, I think that on the 450, he looks way calmer. I know that, you know, I didn't really ride 250 four strokes. I rode 125s. And I know while you're riding a 125 the entire time, you got to be going, go, 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 go in your head. Are you not going anywhere? Yeah. So it's the same way on a 250F. And I think that um, a guy like that that's hungry and expects to win is inside his helmet going, go, 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 go. And when necessary, you know, he doesn't necessarily need to do that. So, uh, I saw him on a 450 about two or three years ago, just sh- saw some outdoor practice, and I was like, yo, looks like a totally different guy, way calmer, smoother, so um, I think he'll be in there. I think uh, he's, he's going to win some races. He'll be there all the time. I don't know that he's a title contender yet, and I would love to see that because I like AC. He's cool, but I don't know if he's, uh, you know, got 16 rounds of uh, fighting those boys in him quite yet. I had to argue no, with you, right? Uh, <laughs> so I think. Yeah, no, that's, uh, I, I, you know what, Dallas points though. I mean, you got to remember he is, uh, he's, he's a young kid, right? And he hasn't done this before. So, um, I mean, to your point, I mean, really, it, it could go either way. In, if you look at the history of our sport, Clint, I mean, it very well could favor in your side. But you know, we've we've seen it with uh, we've seen it with Ricky, and we've seen it with uh, Jeremy. That uh, you know, every so long, uh, these dynasty riders come along. I've, once every ten years. Yeah, but Ricky ago, didn't win so, his first year um, in the four in the two fifties, did he? I don't think he did. But he had no, McGrath and stuff. But um, you know, here's the thing, honestly. And a little bit of that was just to argue with you. But I think that AC has a really good chance um, rookie year because he's not only – he's how many years has he been in the lights? Like four years because of injuries? 
So he has the extra experience and he's battled for championships versus a kid that say he didn't get hurt and he came in and he won Supercross two years in a row and then he got bumped up. That's a different scenario than than who he is now because of the injuries forcing him to have like a season or two extra of learning in the 250s. So honestly, I think as far as a rookie, even McGrath, what did McGrath ride Supercross 89? No, he rode a uh, 91, 92, 93. He was on a, uh, you know, so he only had 93. He went two or three years before he went to the um, to two fifties. 